today <clears throat> I got new handlebars for my 2000 Yamaha V Star 650. So I'm gonna have to remove the windshield and then get to my stock bars and see if I can get the new bars 12 inch ape hangers to fit with the stock cables. For what I hear, I can go in there, take the neck off, slide the tank back, and I should be able to get uh, some more room to race up the uh, the cable for the clutch and the accelerator and all that. So, get to work on that. I'll give you up this as I go. First, I'm removing the windshield. Has this brackets here, which connect to the back of your headlight, slides in there in between, and then it comes up here, and then a 10 millimeter, 10 mil nut on one side and or the bolt that goes through and the nut on the other side is a 12. Next step is to take, you got two options here. You can take the windshield off the bars, the support back bars in the back or towards the top right here. Or you can try to stick a hex wrench in there in between the windshield and the bars and get it all together. What do you think I'm gonna try, of course? I'm going for the easiest way, see if uh, that works for me. Give it a try. So I have a set of T um, hex keys, uh, ratchets, whatever, they don't fit there. So I had to use um, Allen wrenches and a T um, 316s, 316s of an inch is gonna be the bolt for that. Of course, this is gonna vary depending on whether you have a windshield and what kind of windshield you have, so you can't play it. You can't, I can't give you exact measurements of what's gonna be for your windshield or how yours is set up. So I was able to get a 316 um, adapter and go from, in, from the front here, from right here in between the windshield and the uh, and the bar and my application has the brackets that the top bolts are longer than the bottom one so that's how I know how they'll fit I just lay them on the seat left one right right side on the right side left side on the left side with the bolt the top um, top bolt is longer so my bar uh, my windshield application had that bar at the bottom of that bracket and it's scraping here and causing some rust on both sides so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buff it out with some steel wool, the four stop four times zero, and then I'm gonna put some weather strip in there, just a little piece, so it can go uh, act as a barrier in between the two. I don't want my forks to get all jacked up. I say already are, so I'm gonna try to clean that up first with some steel wool, see how it looks. That came out pretty clean, just a little bit of. Um, rubbing with the steel wool and a little bit of cleaner cleaning solution so let's see uh, let's get the tank off I, I gotta remove the speedometer three bolts here one two three move that back move the closer back slide it out of the way and I gotta get the tank back so I can get access to all the all the uh, hardware down here and the cable see if we can uh, make this work without having to get um, custom cables. So for this bolt, uh, I did get lucky and it's gonna be a 4T, uh, number four. I'm gonna use that on my impact and go faster. So there we go, this is already moved. I just gotta wiggle it out. Get my magnet out of the way. Just, just slide that back a little bit. So the speedometer cable come from there. You can pull that back a little bit to get some more room. And there it is. So I gotta find my bolt for for the tank. Bolts to remove the tank are right here on top of your rear cylinder. One right there on this side, and then another one on the same side on the other side. I gotta move my tank back. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do what I need to do just by moving the tank back a little bit without taking the gas lines out. I'm hoping I don't have to do that, but we'll see. 
I'm gonna go ahead and take my speedometer cable off right there. You just spin, spin backwards. Make sure you're careful not losing any washers, but when you connect it, you just gotta match a little, this cable is not square. And then this one here the, for my lights, get the lights off, unhooked, and remove the cluster. This is what the speedometer looks like. It's like a square cable. Just gotta match that up back in inside there and you're good to go. I'm just gonna clean that quick. See if I can get my, my tank to slide back. So those two bolts in the back, then there's the tank slides into this. There's two hooks that slide in there. This two, um, the connections have to come out from the tank so it can move. Now we remove this neck here. You gotta take the uh, the rubber from there, and then take the neck out so you can get to the cables. So once you left, uh, remove the neck cover. This is what you're left with and i will clean some of that up while i'm in here i mean it's pretty dusty so i'm thinking i'm gonna have to take um i guess i'll take the handlebars off first and see how much room i need but i'm starting to think these cables are gonna have to run through here instead of through the front so i can get enough clearance that'll give me another three three to four inches so they come around the front i want them to go through the back um definitely room in there maybe through here and then for the other side i'll do the same they're cross at the front of the frame right here so i'm gonna get the other ones from the other side to come through here and come up um, i think the clutch cable might have to actually come instead of going through that guide right here might have to get it from out here we'll see but that's gonna be pretty tight I'm pretty sure if I come if I take the clutch out from up here from this corner and then get it from there I might have to go and mess with it down here we'll see but that's the easy we'll mark it make a mark here just remember uh, to remind me where I was or count the threads how many threads I was spin this nut back um, and then you can unhook the cable take the nuts out and then this one should be able to allow you to get out of here because I'm not sure if this is going to be able to uh, I might be able to fit the other end through it we'll see we'll address it when we get there so here are the bars that I'm you trying to replace um, I think I got plenty I mean I'm down at the frame there but if I come up here you can see you can see I got not I don't have to go that much higher so I think I got this lock I'm gonna give it a shot if it's if I can get it all together without having to mess around with um, the layout of the cables we'll see uh, and then to get that off you need to just it's a plug so you just pull it back and hopefully my handlebars you just gotta twist them off the bar the grips uh, to get the the lights, headlights and horn, all that stuff goes from here. You got two Phillips screw, two Phillips head, Phillips right here, one on top, one on the bottom that slides off. And then for for the clutch handle, you're gonna have two little uh, a bolt and a nut right here. They look like they're tens. You can see them right here and right there. Here's one, and here's the other one right there. One, and the one right here, two. Get those off and you should be good. I'm gonna have to cut this, uh, uh, the zip ties. Got a couple of zip ties right here on both sides. Replace those with the, um, with new ones. And then to get to your bolt, you pop this off right here these caps and you have some allen wrenches right there this is just a little chrome plastic piece for your other side um, we got two allen wrenches there and then the same method as the other one there's two two phillips screwdriver uh, screws on the other side of that to uh, slide it off so once you loosen the bolt for underneath the clutch handle you loosen the Phillips at least one of them you get this wobble here you should be able to just slide this back 
and then um, I'm going up with the risers. I don't know. I think my headlights and stuff are gonna have to be moved. I think that's gonna be not big enough. But we'll, again, we're gonna try it first and see if we have to mess with the original layout or not. I'd rather leave it the way it came, but we'll see. I think there might have been a little bit of glue in here for the grip. And I wish I would have gotten new grips because now that I got them off, I would have been a good time to just replace them for some nicer ones. But we're trying things out here, so that's just the easy way to get the grips to come right off. And now I'm gonna get ready to slide off this uh, uh, this whole unit here. I think I'm gonna have to unhook him from back here because I don't think I have enough. Nope. So I gotta do my clutch connector here. There's a little tab in here you push the bottom up bottom pinch it up to clear and then just pull the top out all right guys so I did have to split here because I couldn't slide it all the way over so it is looking like I might have to mess with the with the routing of the cables but uh, it's just again two Phillip heads and I'm hooking that a connector right there and off it comes so all these bolts here are different this one here it's a number five and that's for your brake uh, reservoir this one here for the handlebars is a t6 and then of course the one that we used earlier which was a 316 i think i'm not using that one back there so far but my review mirror was on the way. I can't get it off. I don't want to jam it up too much. It's all getting shoot up there by my wrench. So I lowered the, the bolt, the Phillip head that's down here. That gave me a little bit of wobble here. So I'm going to remove the, uh, the brake, which is actually what holds that. And I should be able to give me some more rooms once this can be moving up and down. I'll hook my cables and get that'll be all of it off the way this comes all together for what I understand that's not stuck like this one was here against the bar this rides on uh, on, a, on the assembly here for your cable your uh, tellerator now with this loose I can get to my other bolt back here it's easy and I can remove the whole assembly and if you want uh, if you're wondering how I got this set up today I don't have a jack stand, so I got two four by fours and then two two by sixes underneath. The previous owner had put this LED light, so it's real hard to find a spot where you're not gonna jack up the lights. But I needed the uh, I needed the bike to stand up right, and I do have my my stand just uh, just in case something happens and I need to to bail from that and catch it quick. I'm only guessing these are the original grips. This does have threads, so the end cap comes off by turning it. So this one is not, don't go crank, pulling on it, pulling, pulling, because you'll break it. The other one I got lucky, I didn't know how it was done, and it just, it was stuck in, I mean, I tried to spin it first on the left side, and that wasn't it. So I ended up <clears throat> just realizing that it was a plug, so I pulled it out. But this, this right side is a screw on cap. Um, that should free me up to get my my accelerator assembly out with with the brake and everything. And then you have your um, your front brake cables here. The green one goes in the front, and the red or other color goes in the back. So keep that in mind. I'm gonna hook those so I can move my brake lever. There it is. Bars are off. Now we're gonna get ready to measure the um, make sure the ape hangers fit and then see how our cables are supposed to, uh, to work. So halfway through the, through the job here. Let's see if I can give you another view here. Make sure you take pictures of where your cables go in case you have to backtrack and something happens, you don't like it, you remember how everything goes. So the right side uh, cables go through the front to the left side of the handles and vice versa, the left side handles that go to the right side of the handlebars go across from the other side so they 
switch up. So the bars are up and I am loving the way they look, man. I mean, honestly, this if this comes out, uh, this does work out, I am gonna be extremely happy. I don't even know if I'm gonna put my windshield back up. I mean, it might not even fit, but I think I'll put up with the bugs and everything else, the wind and all that, just for the looks. This is looking amazing. See what it looks like from the front side. <clears throat> looking awesome. So of course, I suspected I am able to make it up here, but I think that's way too tight, too straight uh, for the brakes. Uh, I want my handles up a little more and uh, my lever rather. It's too, too low. I mean, I can deal with that, but I just don't know if I like this the cable for the brake to be too, so stretched like that. Um, so what I'm going to do, and I want my handlebars back towards me a little more. So I'm going to go ahead and remove. I already took it off that clip. I'm going to remove this 8mm bolt right here for that bracket. I'm going to take the cable out of there and then reroute it on the outside and go back and hook it up here so it's not like hanging loose all up all up in here in this area like here so it will come up hook on there and then come up straight and I think that should give me the, the space that I need right there so in order to do that I have to get my my brake reservoir through here I'm not gonna be able to do that without getting my light out of the way. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to get my light off. That's just two bolts right there. One there, one on the left. Just to get the space that I need to get my my brake uh, reservoir through. Cause otherwise I'm gonna have to like bleed the brakes and I'm not doing all that stuff. Um, I, don't, I don't think I can fit, especially with this mirror giving me a pain on the neck. So, all right, we're gonna try that. All right, yo, my battery is about dead, but I did have to come to the outside. I'm gonna try to make this look as pretty as possible. And this here is gonna have to probably face lower than I than I had it before. I think I'm gonna have to get my cables out from in here and then um, come from the inside so I can reach. Otherwise, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get where I need to get with those cables. So it looks like some of the problems that I was explaining earlier are going to have to happen uh, adjustments to avoid the problems so getting these cables um, through here and the other side through here and then these from the front come uh, from the uh, from this side here in order to uh, make a reach I'm trying to make do here all right guys I am all done the lighting is not the best but she is looking good the handlebars are nice, comfortable. I had to, as I mentioned earlier, play a little bit with the um, with the cables. So here, I have these notches. I zip tie them there. Those are my my electrical cables. Um, had to play with, take that all apart uh, to get the cables, the accelerator cables from in there, and make make sure they fit properly. There was a little nipple on the front part of this bracket here where the cable goes inside that um, match the original handlebar so they don't move. I had to shave that off. Um, this uh, end cap here was too thick for the new, for the new uh, bar so I had to shave those off. But other than that, um, it's just looking good. I didn't put the windshield back because um, I don't think it'll fit. I'll have to move the bar the bars towards the rear in order for them to fit And I'm not sure if I can manage that with the uh, with the cable problems that I have there. They're I mean, they're just snug the brake cable is uh, on the outside like I mentioned and I tied it to the um, To the uh, accelerator cable and then I had to take it off from inside that that little notch you see right there that's where um, as you can see here pardon the lighting problem but this goes inside there so I took that off but overall it looks nice um, 
I have to adjust the headlight. I'll, they leave all the brackets in there um, for where the cables run through. I was gonna clip them being lazy, but I, I figure I'll leave it alone in case I wanna put it back to stock if I'm gonna sell it or something like that if I have problems and still um, get it inspected. But all I'm missing is just taking it out for a ride and uh, see how she rides now. But bars are looking great.